Hey folks, recently on Dot Big Bang, we've added a new ability to the social hub world, which is swimming. You can swim around in the ocean, rivers and ponds, etc. And your pets will swim with you. This functionality is also available on our default player template and is worked into most of our starter games. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add swimmable water to your own games on Dot Big Bang. We're gonna go and we're gonna make a new game and I'm going to show you every step that you need to take. So by default, here in the starter game, if we go to the camera, we'll see that it's a little bit different. We've added this DBB underwater effect script to it, and we've also added some collision information. So if you make a new game, it'll already be set up for swimming. However, I'm gonna show you, if you have an older game, what you need to do to set it up. So the default player template now has a new movement script and it has a script for swimming. If you are using an older game and you want to update it, you'll need to go to the player template here and make sure it's the default player template. If you have a custom player template, you'll need to update it to add the swimming stuff, uh, which is a little more involved, but you can message us for help on Discord and someone will help you. Here's what you need to do to add water to your game. First, I'm going to go and grab uh, just some entity to use for a water example. I'm gonna grab this hot tub water. I'm gonna drag that in. So now I'm going to scale this up big. So right now, of course, if I go up to this, it's solid and opaque. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select it. I'm gonna to go to the voxel object and make it transparent, first of all. I'm gonna to go to collision. I'm going to leave it on voxel object, but I'm gonna change it to a trigger. And so now if I walk up to it, I can intersect with it. And as you can see, the camera jumps in because the camera moves around uh, to try to make sure that you remain visible as the player. So we need to tell the camera to ignore this water. So I'm going to go to the entity options up here and I'm going to go down to the tags. I'm going to, in the tags, put camera ignore. And now that I've done that, the camera can go inside this water. Now you will notice when the camera is inside this water, um, because the geometry is cold, you can't really see where the edges of the water are. So when you're designing your levels, you need to keep this in mind and you need to make sure that there's a way to tell where the surface of the water is. So what we have done in existing games in some of them we've added some particles to the surface of the water <laughs> with a separate entity and in other games we've added like a thin entity on top of the water to act as the surface that is all cosmetic stuff i'll put some planks up there to show you what i mean so if i have some planks here i'm going to scale those up and i'm going to put them here on the surface of the water and so then if i'm in the water I can see where the planks are, right? So I've copied my water and I'm going to see, I think you have to be an administrator to scale something non-uniformly. Uh, let me see if there's something I can use alternatively here. This will work. So here's a little entity. We're gonna use this to be the surface of our water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it up. I'm gonna put it here on the surface, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also make this camera ignore. I'm gonna make this one, actually, you know what? I'm gonna fully make this one no raycast. Camera ignore means that the camera's raycasts will ignore it. No raycast means that every raycast from the camera, the player, anything else, it will be as if the entity isn't even there. And in fact, I'm going to remove the collision component because we don't need it. I'm gonna make this uh, transparent. So now when we're in the water, we can see that there is a surface on the top. So how do we have actual swimming is the next question. So we need to let the player know that this water is water. So we're going to go to the tags again and add the water tag. Now that the water tag has been added, we can swim in this water. So we can surface and we can swim around on the surface and we can dive beneath. And so there's our water. Of course, normally you'd have a whole level around this cube <laughs> with like rocks and bank and whatever you'd have. So I'm going to show you some other things. So when you're in the water, you can hang out on the surface or you can dive beneath and getting out of the water can be a bit of a challenge. So if I go and get some planks here 
and I can no longer see them. And I'll scale the planks up and I'll put the planks here in the water because I want to demonstrate. So like, let's say this is a, a dock or something. You will not be able to get out of the water on a hard boundary like this. What you need to have to get out of the water is a ramp. So if I copy this guy over here, I'm going to rotate it and turn it into a ramp. Now we can walk up the ramp to get out of the water. Now, sometimes if your ramp is too steep, it won't work. And if your ramp is too short, it won't work. Basically, the player's origin is at their feet and they have to be able to detect the shallow water from their feet. So if the ramp is, for example, very short like this, it is unlikely to work, as you can see. Similarly, if we take this ramp and we make it wicked steep, we probably won't be able to get out. And okay, we can, but it's tough. So in general, when you're designing water to get into and out of and you want it to be easy, you want to put like a fairly shallow graded ramp and make sure that it's long enough for the player to walk up it. And so we're also going to fix the camera now. So when we bring the camera in the water, it's still just clear. So we need to add the underwater effect. So if we grab our camera, we will collapse these real quick. So we'll go to scripts and we'll open a script and we'll put underwater effect. DBB underwater camera effect is the one you want. Now we've added this script and the default settings are sensible. Now you'll notice it still doesn't do anything. And that's because um, particularly some of the older games, the camera doesn't have any collision information and it needs that in order to detect that it's under the water. So we're going to go here to collision, new. We're going to make it a trigger and we're going to make it a sphere and it should just automatically clip to the size of the camera. So we have a sphere trigger on the camera and that should be enough to give us this nice underwater effect. So now when you're diving, the world will look like this. And when you leave the water, it will look like this. If you have any questions about how to set this stuff up, or if you have any trouble setting it up, particularly if your game uses a custom camera or a custom character controller or something like that, uh, hit us devs up on Discord and someone will try to help you fix your game. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day, everybody. Have fun making games on .bigbang. Thank you.